Hello everybody, I'm Kirsten Card with Fit Massage here in Gresham, Oregon, and I just wanted to try to help out um, in these challenging times with everyone kind of being stuck at home and trying to stay safe and healthy. One of my favorite things about my job being a licensed massage therapist is that I get to help people when they're stressed, when they have anxiety, when they're injured, whatever it may be that brings them to me. So today I wanted to kind of give back and help you help your loved ones at home. Um, I'm obviously not able to reach out and help, help my normal clients. And so this is kind of your way to help those that are in your home. Stresses and anxiety are really high right now and even with our children. So this is something that you can do with your children. You can teach your children to massage each other, to massage their parents and the whole family can kind of help out. So today I just wanted to give you some basic tips on how to do just a general massage for the shoulders and for the neck area. So first off, most people in their home have some coconut oil or olive oil, something like that. It's a really easy uh, lotion or oil that you can use that makes working the areas really smooth and stays on the skin really well. So I just put a little bit of that in my hands, rub it around, not too much because you don't want it to get really greasy. And then just starting out, you want to stay really just kind of light. Right now we're just kind of warming up the area. We don't want to go in and attacking, you know, where it hurts right away. We kind of want to just warm up the whole area so chest shoulders and then i just kind of bring up in the back up the neck all the way to the bottom of that skull and as you're doing this for my clients that are on the table for your loved ones on at home I want them to just focus on breathing. And one of the ways that they do this is just focus on your stomach rising when you inhale and letting it drop as you exhale. So nice deep breaths. And through the nose, out through the mouth, that will help you relax the most. For those of you that are doing the work, I want you to be patient because it's not always, it's more fun to receive the massage than to give it. But if you do it right, you guys will be taking turns and you'll, you'll get your turn. So if you can do this for like 10, 15 minutes to your family members, that's great for them. And it's always feels good to give. So this is a time where we can really, really give. So as we move into it, I just kind of like to stretch down the shoulders. So really gently, we're just gonna push as they breathe. Kind of get a nice stretch through the shoulders, through the neck. Come back up. And I always kind of like to work the length of the muscle. Again, don't just work right where it hurts. And you can go down into the back. And as I do that, I'm gonna show you what my hands are doing. My hands are kind of making a cupping motion and I'm letting the weight of their back and their neck sink in, my fingers sink into that. And also as you do this, you wanna check in with them. Say, is that too much pressure? If it hurts, let me know. If you want more pressure, let me know. But right now I'm still just kind of warming up couple of the really good tension points and people is right here in these traps. So sometimes kind of squeezing them kind of gently, kind of shaking it a little bit. Feels that good, huh? Feels good. How are you doing, Cammie? Good. And as you go through, you might feel some spots that feel a little bit gritty feel a little bit harder than other areas and you just want to pay attention to where those are 
we're going to come back to those. So if they have range of motion, pretty good range of motion, you can move their neck over. I like to keep it underneath my hand, as you can see right in here. And that way I have pretty good control of moving that neck. And this way I can get a little bit of a stretch here. So I'll come in, push down into the shoulder, stretch out to the side as far as it comfortably will move. And she's got really good range of motion. So I can get a nice good stretch in there. And then I like to run back up all the way back up the neck. And then of course you do the same thing to the other side that you do to one side. So make sure you make it even. I'm mostly going to be working on the right side so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So keeping her turned just a little bit. Um, another thing that you can do if it's not comfortable for them to have your hand under their head is to just lay it to the side and then you can still do your work this way. Uh, but like I said, I like to pick it up. I just kind of rock it onto the other side. And now I'm going to start moving in a little bit deeper. So one of the things that causes a lot of tension in a lot of us nowadays um, with everything that's going on especially is we kind of forget to breathe correctly. So we talked about it a little bit earlier. Take a nice deep breath, breath in. Make sure your stomach is moving, not your chest. Nice long breaths in and out. When we use our chest to do our breathing, we're using more secondary muscles up in our neck, up into our necks. And that causes a lot of tension. How's that feel? Up in there. We'll back out a little bit. Okay. Another thing that causes a lot of tension right now is our posture. Sitting at a desk all day, being on your phone, maybe even more now that we're home, working from home, or we're on Facebook a lot more, we're gonna feel, or we're gonna kinda hunch forward a little bit more and that's gonna cause more problems in the chest area, more problems in the back and in the neck. Often our heads are gonna drop because we're staring at our phones. So pay attention to your posture as you're doing all of these things. Okay, so that was just a lot of gliding that I've been doing. And then I like to get in, kind of find some good spots in there and do a little bit of cross fiber friction. So you're just going gently back and forth across the opposite fibers, opposite direction that the fibers are going. And bring that all the way up. Again, I'm mostly using her body weight right here. I'm not pushing crazy into her neck. I'm just letting it do the work for me. It takes the pressure and the pain off of my fingers. Off my wrist. I like to get right back down into these traps all the way to the ends of the shoulder. And underneath, I know it's really hard to see, but you can kind of feel around the scapula or the shoulder blade. And you can do a little bit of that kind of just cross fiber as you glide up. So the traps, as I said, hold a lot of tension. Another part of the body that I want to focus on is right up here in your suboccipitals, right at the base of the skull. These will hold a lot of tension too. So one of my favorite things is to get both hands up and just kind of glide up. get to the base of that occiput, I just kind of rock the head. My fingers right now are going in circular motion. And then I do front to back. And then sometimes you can find a really good spot 
How's that feel? Right there? Do a little back and forth on it, or you can just hold, hold that pressure. The muscles will relax after a little bit. But make sure that you're not going too hard in there. stretch on the neck and almost everybody's favorite thing to have done is the scalp massage there's a lot of tension that's held here especially when we're stressed if you grit your teeth you're gonna hold a lot of tension right in here right in the temporalis so we Giving head massages, just go ahead and make some circular motions. I'm doing circular motions and then with my thumb, I kind of do a cross fiber right down the middle of the hairline. And I like to do it right around here, around the ears and the back. rotate their head and get right at the base. Remind your loved one to take some deep breaths here. Nothing else matters right now. Right now it's you taking care of somebody else, helping to take away their stress, helping to take away some pain, kind of helping them to go somewhere else for a little while. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Normally I would do a little bit of face work, but we're not touching our own faces or other people's. So I'm just gonna stick to the scalp. And I'm doing this a little bit quick. And then at the end, I just like to run my fingers up through a little bit of a squeeze. So take 10, 15 minutes, work on the people that you love. Um, if you like different creams to put on, you can do that when you're done in those really tender spots. I really like deep blue, um, but there's a lot of good creams out there that you can use. Icing and heating are good things to do too. I kind of go with the rule of thumb, um, ice the new injury, heat the old injury, do what feels comfortable for you. Take care of your family, take care of yourselves and thanks for joining. If you wanna see other things that you can work on that you can help your own family members, let me know in the comments and I will help out as best I can. Thank you.